All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how to undervolt your uh, GPU using the MSI Afterburner. This is for Asus uh, TUF-15-F15 laptops. Uh, probably applies to others as well where the CPU voltages are locked. Um, let's get straight to it. So I'm just going to open my MSI. All right, so as you can see, everything is set at zero, default default values. Um, I apologize as well if my audio is bad. I have no idea why that is the case, but anyway. So now let's open Unigine Heaven and let's run it and let's see what we get. And let's see what we can get. All right, so I'm going to stop it right here. Let's just take a walk. Um, to get the GPU and CPU heated. Um, okay, I guess I guess this is good enough. All right, so let's just leave it for a little bit to get hot. We are getting about 150 to 155 FPS. GPU and CPU, as you can see, the temps are rising, and we are using about 65-ish watts of power for our gpu as seen here yeah okay so our temperatures are already hitting 70 71 uh the fans are spinning they are not spinning fully however but they are certainly noisy i think we should be good to go now to show you what you can probably you can get okay so i already have a profile saved on my profile 5 so i'm just gonna show you what happens when i activate it so as you can see here, the wattage, uh, look what happens here. As you can see, our wattage dropped to 50, 49. Our FPS took a hit, but not a huge amount of it, I would say. And as you can see, our temperatures dropped immediately. Um, let's just see the difference between the two. So if we remove the default values, we are getting between 150 to 153. If we use the undervolt that I have. We are losing, as you can see, anywhere between four to five FPS. Of course, you can still play with this and make it better for yourself. I don't mind those. It's not even four or five, it's less. But let's say that on average, you're losing about four FPS, which I personally don't mind. It doesn't affect me too much playing games that I do play. You might get better results, might get worse results. But anyhow, uh, let's see how we can do this, right? So if you go, if you open your MSI and you have a default skin, you will have a curve editor here. You might need to enable it in the settings if it's not enabled. However, if enabled, you can either click here or you can press Control and F. So once we open it, you will see this. So here at the bottom, you can see the voltages. And here on the left, you can see the speed of your graphics card, yeah, the megahertz. So basically each voltage, let's say 950 in this case, millivolts, sorry, is assigned to 1837 megahertz. So now you should try and let's say assign, for example, the voltage of 900 to the same speed of your graphics card. How you can do this? Click on one of these uh, squares, click and, click and hold the click, press your Alt and drag everything down. Then take the same square and lift it up to the speed that you are trying to get with that certain voltage. So let's say in this case, it will be 1832 megahertz. Once you have done that, leave it like this. And then in your MSI, click on OK. It will create a curve automatically for you. So as you can see, it already dropped a little bit. For me, I found that for me, what works is that I am at about 825, I think, uh, millivolts on 1837 megahertz. Let me just check that that is correct. Let's apply it. Ah, uh, yeah, so I am having 1830 at 825 um, millivolts. As you can see, the, the wattage use is a lot less, thus it will keep your whole system cooler, given that the, the cooling components are being shared between your CPU and your GPU. Again, your results might vary. Uh, it comes down, I guess, to the silicon lottery. But uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much and enjoy the gaming.